All right, where do we begin? Tell you what, what about with the stadium with the hole in the roof? The Dallas Cowboys. They've been a good team this year, playing the Cincinnati Bengals, who just, just in, have not been a good team. Cowboys, a young team, though, do they win when they're supposed to win? This was exactly one of those games for Dallas. Let's check it out. Do you know that guy, Tom? Sure you do. Yeah. Family member. A game of four different quarters. So does your uncle, James Brooks. He's a fan. He rolls it for 10 yards. JB running so hard. And the Bengals lead it 10 nothing after one. James Brooks, Brooks with an amazing nose for the goal line. So after the first quarter was 10 nothing Cincinnati. But in the second quarter, Ricky Blake, who else would you give the ball to? Sure, he's never carried before in the NFL. You remember him from the waffle, the San Antonio Riders. It's a touchdown, 14-10 Dallas. Troy Aikman and Jay Novacek. What a pretty pass. And Dallas has outscored Cincinnati 21-0 in the second quarter lead, 21-10 at the half. Third quarter, since he's first play from scrimmage, Harold Green. Not one, not two, not three moves. But let's get him go. He could go all the way. 75 yards. The Cowboys lead us down to 21-17. Last play of the quarter. Aikman to Michael Irvin down to the two. But remember, the quarter ends and the Bengals have won the third quarter 13-0. But where is the game won? In the fourth quarter. And right away, who would you give it to? Emmett Smith shows amazing balance here. He's kept upright by Eric Williams, who helped him get in for the touchdown. 28-23. And then Boomer Esiason pass tipped by Jeff Coach Dixon Edwards. He's off to the races. Big fourth quarter for the Cowboys. They win it 35-23. Sam is 0-6. Look at the second and fourth quarters. That's why the Cowboys up their mark to five and two, and the Bengals still have the goose egg in the wind column, the final 35 to 23.